What's up, YouTube? So, I'm about to go do a little sell. I'm about to go sell some shoes on OfferUp, and uh, I'm going to go meet with the person at his house. And uh, I wouldn't do that personally because I wouldn't know them. It could be like a, you know, like a jump. It could be like, you know, they're trying to rob me, you know, gang up on me, you know. I'm thinking of the worst outcomes, but eh, who knows? What if he's legit and he actually just isn't mobile? That's what he said. But anyways, let me show you the shoes I'm about to sell. There you go. Had these for two, three years, never wore them. As you can see, still pretty new. They're nice, but uh, yeah, it's time for them to go. I will miss them, trust me. They are one of my babies. Anyways, uh, these are my other ones. These are my gym shoes. I like to use these every now and then. Damn, look at that, amazing. Anyways, uh, enough of that. Uh, Let's get to it. Uh, he was a great dude. He was a great kid. He was young. He was he was for real. He didn't have a ride. He was like probably like in his freaking, you know, he was probably like 16, 17 years old. He was a cool ass kid. You know, he's straightforward. He was like, hey, how's it going? Here, take a look at the shoes, you know, see if they're good. He looked at him. He was like, hey, man, I trust you. I like these shoes. I've been looking for them. And you got them. So then, you know, he, he gave me a good offer. I've been trying to get rid of them for a very long time. And yeah, so I sold the shoes, but at first, you know, at first I was skeptical. I was like, damn, should I even go? Or should I make a meet me somewhere? Or should I just cancel it? But me being me, I'm very desperate sometimes, and I just do it, you know? There's a story of me getting scammed, and I got scammed $800 one time. But you see, that story's for another day. But anyways, I got the money. The money's legit. I counted it. I uh, checked if it was real. And so, yeah, so on my way to the gym, and so far, it's a Monday, so I'm having good. You know, I got off of work early today, sold the shoes I've been trying to sell for a very long time, and man, life's great so far. Just arrived at the gym, and I just want to show you my fit. I'm dripped out. I'm just saying, like, I got I got to look good at the gym. It's where all my money goes to, gym clothing, you know, gym apparel, you know, I fucking love it. Anyways, uh, you know, I was on a rock them beats. Let's see what color do I have them? I have them. Let's see, show y'all. I ain't capping. I got the green ones. I lost my. Actually, no. I, I had mm, the navy blue ones. I had navy blue ones, and I took them to work one day, and the skid steer ran them over, and yeah, so they broke. Unfortunate, but uh, yeah, that same day. I told myself I cannot gym without music, especially when it's like a leg day or something. So I was like, you know what? Before we hit the gym, I told my boy, we gotta go to Best Buy and I buy and I bought these right away. I didn't care, I didn't hesitate. I was like, I'm gonna do it because I need these beats. You know, one day or another, you know, I'm gonna buy them, so why not that day? So I was like, you know what? F it, I'm gonna go buy them. You guys are probably wondering, man, this guy buys expensive ass shit. Well, yes, like I said, I like to look good in the gym. That's where all my money goes to, you know? I don't even have nice shoes to go out in. Oh, I mean, these are nice, don't get me wrong. But this is probably the most expensive shoes I have thus far. Probably the only one's gonna, you know, ever be expensive. I will tell myself that, but unless I start to make, you know, more money, I'd, I'm, I'd buy shoes that I want to, you know, that I want to wear. Because it's just, you know, you have you have one life, you know, enjoy it. Yes, if you like materialistic things, just, I say, do it responsibly, you know. Don't just cash out and be broke, you know. Buy things, but also have, like, still, like, saved up money. Responsibilities first, you know. I split my spending in, like, three sections. One, bills. Bills always. Two, savings. You got to save just a little bit of money just so you can have in your bank account. That way you're never broke and you're never in need of money. And third, lastly, would be, like... The last 30% would be my expenses. Like, I could spend it on food, I could spend it on clothes, I could spend it on going out. And yeah, so there'll be a lot of days where I don't even go out and all that money is just getting stacked up. You gotta think responsible. You can't just say, oh, I made a thousand dollars, I'm gonna buy a thousand dollar shoe. But yeah, I didn't need these shoes, I just wanted them. You know, it's it's just a, it's just a want. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, gotta look fresh at the gym. Well, for me, I gotta be looking good. That's where my motivation comes from. If you look good in the gym, it just inspires you to just like, Go hard. You know, because you know you dripped out. 
so today I hit a little bit of uh, shoulders, chest, and then triceps. And I think I think one set of biceps just to get that pump. I was feeling it. I went for it. And so right here we're at a poke bowl. I think it's ahi poke. And I'm going to get some sushi. It's not sushi. I think it was sushi because it's almost like what's inside of sushi but not sushi. It's basically it's a bowl. It has rice, shrimp, salmon, and all this other good stuff. And that's, they have this like mango peach drink. And it's it's phenomenal. It's amazing. So yeah, I'm about to go inside. And uh, about to order my food and I'll show you all in a bit. Big. All right, you guys. So check this out. I'm still having my car run on because I need my AC. But check this out. I went to Ahi Poki. It's in uh, it's in it's by the mall area over here by my town. So uh, this is a tropical uh drink, and this is literally my favorite drink from Ahi Poki. It tastes so refreshing. It's like a mango, peach, tropical flavor, and uh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. God damn, Jimmy. This is some serious gourmet shit. Alright. So, I also got two drinks. I'm going to put my phone over here. I got two drinks. I got peach and I got fruit. The lady said the peach one was good, but you know what? She also mentioned about the fruit. And I was like, you know what? I could, I could take the fruit and I could probably drink it tomorrow. So, yeah. So, actually... I'm going to give a little taste test on the peach. Well, actually, the fruit one I haven't tasted. I haven't tasted either, but this one's peach. That one's peach. I'm going to give a peach flavor a, a taste test. Wow. Yep, I took a little sip. It's, re it's really, really good. Uh, tempted to try out the fruit one, but maybe tomorrow or some other day, and then I will probably give you guys a review. But that one, the peach one, it's uh, it's good. Hold up, here's a closer look so you guys can see this is how it looks like peach. It's really good, but this is still my favorite. Uh, all right, y'all. I'm not gonna show you what I'm gonna eat. Well, actually, I am, but I'm not gonna show you when I eat it, you know, because that's a mukbang, and I don't want to do that yet. But check this out. Oh, this is amazing. Especially post-workout meal. Oh, yeah. This is what you need to be eating. Check this out. Look at that. That is salmon, shrimp, rice, and it has uh, crab right there on the side. Yeah, so I'm going to enjoy my meal before I go to Home Depot, because I need to go to Home Depot to pick up a pry bar. Because I'm going to go take out tiles tomorrow for my job. And it's, it's not that heavy. I just, I already have a hammer. I need my prying bar. And yeah, so I'm going to go to Home Depot after this. I'll see if I can record a little bit over there. But if not, and don't, it's no biggie. So, this meal is going to go in a full effect. I'm about to eat it. My stomach's going to get that full effect. You know, we're just we're just growing here, guys. You know, we're trying to we're trying to eat, maintain, grow, shred, whatever all it is. You know, I eat like I'm bulking, but I work out like I'm cutting. I've been actually we've been cutting since I was twelve. It's like maintaining, basically. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to grub, and uh, yeah, catch you guys on the flip side. Damn, let me join that group, like Montana. I'm on hydrogen codeine, I'm on float like a fountain.